Well, hello and welcome back. I was going through the photos and the videos that I was taking earlier this summer, and I thought I was going to make a quick video to talk about the Theodolite app I was using and the fact that it seems to have drifted out of its calibration all on its own. So I went for a few expeditions out to Britannia Beach. So there's Britannia Park and there's the beach. And the first day I had just brought my phone and I sat right there looking off in this direction. So just for a little bit of context, I was over here looking off in this direction over here. And all along here are the Gatineau Hills, all the way over to here. Then the second day I had come back and then I sat right here looking off in this direction towards the Nepean Sailing Club. I made at least one video where I was taking pictures from right here. But on the second day, I was looking off in this direction. And then I had stood at the very tip of this jetty over here and looking again in this direction. I just want you to be familiar with where I was and how I was taking those pictures. So now let's go to the first video. This was, if I recall correctly, this was shortly after I had calibrated the app to point to level. I had just balanced the phone on my knee as I was calibrating it. So I kind of got it not quite straight this way, but it was bright enough that day and it was windy. I think I did a reasonably good job of it. So it's pretty close to being level. Not quite, but it's pretty close. And this is zoomed in four times. And just a little bit of a teaser for what I could be up to next. So here, this was one of the examples where I was going up and down on the peaks of the hills to try to get a reading of the angle so that I could calculate. If I knew the distance from where I was to the peak, I could then estimate the height of the mountain that way. So that's just a bit of a preview of some of the videos I was planning to do. And here I was, so this was at 5.06, so 5.38. I decided I was, this one here doesn't show the, the waterline level uh, angle. Uh, this one here was strictly focused on the peaks of the mountains. Then I went back a few days later and noticed that it was still relatively level. And you can kind of see it's pretty, pretty much dead on level. And then there I was standing on the end of that jetty that I mentioned earlier, and I thought I was going to try another one. And by this point, I had gone home and reviewed the footage from the day before, and I figured in this case here that it would be easier to measure if I start sweeping up and down. No, not even yet. I did start start the concept of sweeping up and down the mountain range like this here to so that I could land on a particular still and get a half decent reading. Sort of like 
you know, it's hard to scrub at the same time. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing for these is just extract all of the individual frames from the video and then I'll be able to look at each one one by one. Uh, and that was it. So between the 16th and the 21st, I noticed that the phone had kept its calibration. But what was interesting was that I had decided to check the calibration on the 22nd. And I noticed that it was extremely way, way off. So it had drifted all on its own. And I thought that was kind of strange because my understanding of the purpose to calibrate it is that it's using the phone's camera setting to line up with which orientation the phone thinks it's in. So it, so the phone has one of those uh, gravity meter things or whatever it's called so that it can measure the force of gravity in the X, the Y, and the Z direction. And I would have thought that unless you drop it or whip the thing against the wall, that it should remain relatively consistent in its readings. And because it's bolted onto the circuit board that's bolted onto the case of the phone, that it would be the same orientation every single time. And that, again, the camera itself also being bolted to the frame of the camera should, once calibrated, my understanding was it should remain pretty much the same for the duration of the phone's life. But apparently that's not quite the case here as I've seen it just simply drifted all on its own the very next day. So I thought I'd point that out. If anybody is using something like a theodolite, you almost need to calibrate this thing every time you're going to use it, as I've discovered, because it seems to drift off of calibration all on its own. And in some cases, it may not be particularly practical if you don't have a level water standard like this. So there you go. I just thought I'd make this quick video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, all that good YouTube stuff. And I will hopefully see you again in a video soon enough. Bye for now.